Hello everyone, this is Sumit and welcome to the Pygame tutorial series part 1 and in this series we will learn each and everything about Pygame so let's get started with the events in Pygame first I'm gonna save this file where I will put all my assets in Pygame tutorial and as you can see here and PNG image is already there so let's say tutorial.py and hit save now let's import the Pygame that is a basic need and and now we will initialize the pygame so we will be able to use uh, all the things of the pygame such as fonts and yeah. now the important thing is, is screen so uh, pygame.display dot set mode using this we can uh, set the mode of the display so inside that we have to pass the um, width and the height we are defining the two variables at the same time Now we are gonna save both of these variables in the single variable as a tuple. So I will pass the size and I will store this display as a screen. So now before moving forward I'm gonna show you where I have downloaded the PNG file. So let's a PNG wall image and then you can see lots of images are images are here but I have downloaded it from here and there we go and now it's downloading and it's completed now we are gonna define the caption that means the title of the window so let's say pygame.display.set underscore caption and then we have to define the name of the caption let's say tutorial now we are gonna face the image that I have shown in the beginning let's say image pygame dot image dot load and then we have to pass the name that uh, and that should be in the same folder that is wall dot png and i have to change this to image and let's try to run oh it's working so now if it is not working that means I, I, we will get an error but we are not getting we will run our whole game inside this while loop so this will not let the program finish and now we will define the events here but we will do that later and now we will fill our screen with black color or whatever you want you can pass here the color R RGB value and then we will say pygame.display.update this will update um, update the display again and again in each and every loop we can also control the frame rate of this game so using plot pygame dot time dot clock we can control that and by using this we can also control the memory memory leakage extra memory leakage because we don't want 60 fps or maximum because human eye is something like 30 fps here. so that's why i'm passing 30 and at the end we will pass the pygame dot quite and quiet that's it and other than this update we also have flip and i will show you what is the difference between both of this both of them so let's say pygame.display dot flip and uh, this is the difference so display dot update allow to update the portion of the screen that in uh, it is allowed to portion of the screen instead entire area of the screen passing no arguments update the entire display display dot fleet will update the content of the entire display that means it is updating the content and it is the portion now we are gonna see the events so for events in pygame.events.get it will return the qui and we will fetch the fetch all the events one by one using the for loop so if the event dot type that means every event have a type so it is equal to pygame dot quite uh, if you are if you click the cross button of the window and uh, something else so it will say game equal to false and other is key, key down type of events so pygame dot key down and other than we also have key up events and we will see all these type of events if the event type is key down that means it also has key and the mode we will talk about the mode later 
but let's say event dot key if the key is k underscore a basically event dot key returns a number that is a key number we will see that later so let's put it inside if condition and if we will press that i will say false so it's quiet now let's run and it's working now i'm gonna show you all types of events so we already have seen the quiet and the working of the quiet and there is a active active event that means if you if you if you are using the window game window that means it is active and we will discuss about this active event in the later video so we also have key down and it returns a unicode and the key that we have seen and the mode if you press control a that means control is the mode and uh, i will show you all types of mode after that so we also have key up in mouse motion it returns the position of the mouse and relative position to the last position and if you are using the button uh, by motion it also return the button and here is also for the mouse button up and mouse button down and we will not going through the joysticks and joy axis motion because i never used that but we will talk about this uh, in the later videos and we also have video size that means if you resize your window it will return size width and height and in case of video expose it will expose the video we will talk about the user events with the active and active events in the later videos so we have seen the types and now we are going to see the uh, all the modes and the keys so we have backspace for the backspace we will use as uh, all these keys as pygame dot uh, let's say key underscore nine as and we also have all these keys as you can see here we can you we can use all these type of keys and after that we have modes so let's say i will show you how to use these modes and other things uh, now let's go and let's say end if you are using the control plus a so uh, let's say we are going to use here the shift let's say l shift so uh, let's say key mode underscore shift and here we have to pass the pi game because key mode underscore shift is not defined and here let's say l shift and now yeah it's working but if you, uh, i want to tell you one more thing if you don't want to use this event then you have to pass pygame dot event dot dump that will dump the event and uh, you will not face any type of lag in the e game or any type of error so pygame dot event dot dump and that's it but i'm not going to do that so let's undo that now i'm going to i'm going to show you the image on the screen and then we will see how the different types of events works so to show the screen we have to build it build means uh, it, it will copy your screen uh, i mean it will copy your image on the screen so screen dot blit and first will be the image and then we have to pass where we want to show the image okay, now, now so now i'm gonna uh, show the font on the screen so let's say first i i, I, I have to define the message uh, let's say whatever empty message right? and if i will change or uh, if i press the key i will change the message so let's say a with key shift pressed and then i will use the font so let's say font pygame dot font and i will use the syst font system font uh, first value will be the font uh, here i am passing none that means it or it will automatically face the system font and the size is 24 then we have to make the image of that font let's say font dot render and first first will be the message 
and then we have to say not the red color okay red is not defined okay. yeah let's see yeah that's the problem and here is also red is not defined so and then we have to do i will change the center i, I will face the rectangle of the this font image and if i will change the center of this image it will also change the other value of that it will also change the other other value that is uh, starting point and the end point of of uh, of that rectangle so let's say center is width divided by 2 and height divided by 2 that's it by just updating the message we will not be able to see the updated message so we also have to update the uh, image font image so that's it and now let's run as you can see here the effect now let's change the font size and now you can see here so now the most important thing that we are gonna do that is we are gonna use the mouse event and then we will show our mouse events or and uh, the position and the relative position on that so let's the event dot type type <coughs> is pygm dot mouse motion then we will change the message let's say event dot position okay text no should not be there so let's change it to a string and now let's run and now you can see the effect you can play with this type of things and let's say relation it will show the relative position with the last position so as you can see here we are we also getting the minus value and we and we can also do the same thing for the button down okay it's position yeah Mm, we can also do the same thing for the key down so now, now let's do the same thing for that and now let's run the position is not defined yeah it's key in the mouse if the type is key down that means it has key unicode and uh, mode so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one in the next part of this video take care bye bye